This video is kindly brought to you by IX Web Hosting. Oh right, what's going on everybody? It is Mark here from obviouslytech.com and I am bringing you a tutorial today on a like button clicking animation thing. <laughs> right, so if you're into the whole YouTube scene, you're uploading videos yourself, or you know someone who is, this is for you. So basically what we're going to be having today and showing you today is this mouse cursor scrolling up from the bottom of the screen clicking on a like button there's going to be a clicking sound for the mouse and then the like button is going to change to the clicked mic like button picture yeah so uh basically you can use this in your videos if you're a youtuber and you ask people to like your videos etc etc and it's very easy to do some simple masking keyframing a little bit of zooming in and out on pictures you know resizing them and uh, yeah so once you have your video clip here on your timeline you want to right click and insert a new video track above your clip now this is going to be for our like button now you can find these downloads these four items here for free on obviouslytech.com or you can make or find your own so you're going to drag the just unclicked like button onto your your timeline here and what we're going to do is we're going to find the point where we want the like button to appear so let's say it's at uh, two seconds here we're going to just drag it here now what we want to do is we want to go into the track motion of this like uh, this like button on this video track and we need to resize this button to make it smaller so to do that we need to click lock aspect ratio and scale about center come up to the top left of this button and click and drag it down okay dragging it down to an appropriate size and then reposition it as you want now once you have done that you can save the preset if you want by clicking up here and saying like button uh, position or size or whatever you want to call it and click the little floppy disk here and there you go now so that's your like button if you want to fade it in just bring up your cursor to the top left where you get fade offset there you go press play and your like button is going to fade in and obviously it's a bit choppy here on the preview but it will fade in like that or you can use a transition like a fly in or something like that now, the next thing on the agenda is to get the mouse cursor so we're going to double click first of all on this track motion and call it LB so that's like button track okay I'm going to right click here enter a new video track and this is going to be for our cursor so just double click here in this box cursor so we're going to click and just drag in our cursor from here our image of our cursor again you can find your own or download this one for free at uh, obviouslytech.com so we go into the track motion of this cursor video track and again we're doing the same thing we need to basically resize the cursor to a reasonable size Now we're gonna get rid of that white in just a moment there we go okay I think that looks pretty good and we'll take care of the actual position in a minute Now to take care of the white border around it what we need to do is you can mask around it by going right click video of and pan crop and using uh, clicking the mask down here so enable the mask click anchor creation tool and create a mask around your like button or your cursor excuse me now I'm gonna speed this up here and obviously do it very very quickly and uh, you can take more time and perfect yours okay so there we go I've created a very quick mask around my arrow or my cursor or whatever you want to call it and now what we need to do is position it properly so back into the track motion we need to basically move this down to the bottom of the screen so use your arrow key to move it down until it's just barely off the screen okay there we go now if you want to save this preset you can say mouse cursor out of screen or something like that or something really short just so you know what the preset is now what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the cursor so that it moves up and clicks on the like button so you want to click this sync cursor here so what that does is it syncs your little keyframe timeline with your video track timeline now as we move across what we need to do is we need to keyframe the cursor to move up and click the like button so we're starting here when the like button starts to fade in and we want the cursor to start moving up and click the like button about here so we're going to move this up okay as you can see the second we move it or change anything it's going to create a new keyframe now you can do that yourself if you want but there is really no need and it does it automatically for you now there we go just our cursor over the like button mine might be a bit too big but you know change it to however you like and 
that is pretty good. Now, if we go back to this, okay, what's going to happen is we're going to have our like button. It's going to fade in. As that fades in, our little cursor is coming up. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have our cursor click. Okay, so we're going to, first of all, right click and insert. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to come down here, and right click, insert an audio track or control and Q. And this is where we're going to add our mouse clicking noise. So come down here uh, into your folder, which you downloaded from obviouslytech.com or if you recorded your own, click and drag the sound in. And what you want to do is you want to, once you come up, okay, so you can see the keyframe here, this keyframe exactly here, when you click on that, that's when the cursor moves up and stops moving. So you want the click to happen there. Okay, so you just click and drag your noise down to here. Okay, so what's going to happen is your mouse is going to move up your cursor onto the like button. Okay, as it moves up, it's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. Now, as you can see, our keyframe here, it's on the like button. So that's when our click noise is going to occur. It's going to click that. And what we need to do is once that click kind of occurs, we need to change the like button. Okay, so this is where the tricky part comes in. Or not really, it's <laughs> quite simple. I don't know why I said that. Um, so you, you can, judging on your, or going by your own judgment, when the click ends or maybe halfway through the click, you want the like button to change, okay? So I'm going to go just about here. I'm going to click on the like button and click S. And I'm going to delete the rest of this like button. I don't need that. I'm going to come into our folder and click and drag down like button clicked into our timeline. I'm going to drag that up right here to where our click is midway through. So what we have right now is our cursor moving up, sound click. Once the click is there, the like button changes, okay? Now, since these two like buttons are on the same video track and I edited them in paint so they're basically exactly the same besides the actual blue highlight, you know, they're the same size and everything. Uh, it looks like it's just been clicked in. It doesn't look like it changed. So that's why we don't need an, uh, a transition here. So it's just going, once we hear the click, it changes into the blue clicked. So that's basically it guys. The last thing you need to do is get rid of the cursor and the like button from the screen. You can do that by a simple fade out or using transitions, you know, fly them out of there. If you want to do a reverse, like keyframe the cursor back down and then fade it out or whatever, you can all do that yourself and make it interesting, make it snappy and, you know, make it your own. Alright guys, so before I end the video, I do want to mention today's video sponsors IX Web Hosting. So, for as little as $3.95 a month, you can receive unlimited web hosting for as many domains as you like. Plus, with each package comes a free domain name, 24-7 phone and live chat support and much more. Also, for you guys, you can get a free 7-day trial and a 10% discount by going to falconmedia.com forward slash TT host or clicking the link in the description. Our web developer, Zach, will even help you to design your own website when you sign up through us. Completely free. So that's falconmedia.com forward slash TT host to start your free trial today. And I'd like to thank you for supporting my videos.